Loading. Welcome to Access the Animus. Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Access the Animus. As in the previous video, we'll talk again about news and once again we'll do it through some new video content. This time we'll talk about the Marquis de Sade and the murder mysteries missions. Let's start with the Marquis de Sade. For those of you who still do not know about him, he was an author of theatrical plays, various texts and philosophical essays, a representative of the extremist wing of libertinism, a French revolutionary politician and also a delegate of the National Convention. Historically he was a prisoner of the Bastille but only until July the 4th, 10 days before the famous storming that marked the beginning of the French Revolution. What you see is the first time that the Marquis introduces himself to Arnaud, although the two probably have met previously exactly at the Bastille, since the Marquis says he wants to help other people who suffered with him in the famous prison. An interesting detail about the Marquis emerged from the recent news, and it probably happens in the minutes exactly before what we're showing you. Indeed, the person that you see on the cart had his leg amputated by the Marquis because, according to his own words, one leg beggars earn more money. Judging even only from these few seconds, it seems that the Marquis will be one of the most interesting characters in Unity, and we at Access the Animus are looking forward to dealing with him during the game. Good luck! That's three times this month. The other subject that we're going to discuss in this video concerns the murder mysteries missions. As stated many times in the news of the previous months, the murder mysteries are missions that can be found going around Paris, listening to people in the crowd talking about a homicide, or directly arriving on a crime scene. All the missions belonging to this kind will revolve around Eugène François Vidoc a French detective, criminal and adventurer who can be considered the father of modern criminology and who, in AC Unity, will appear as a young man who wants to solve homicide cases and make Paris a better place to live. Hey! I know the streets. I can help you out. Why would you? Because that stinking stupid pig of a police minister doesn't have the stinking stupid sense to do anything that might give even a grifter like me hope that someday this city might not be a shitty place to live. And because I'm bored out my bloody mind! Oh, for the love of God, Vidoc, shush! The Murder Mysteries missions will be very interesting both from a narrative point of view and in terms of gameplay. When Arnaud arrives at the crime scene, he can activate the mission by investigating the dead body. Starting from here, an area corresponding to the crime scene is defined and the player can analyze it in search of various clues, also by using the eagle sense. The clues can be of different types, from the presence of books and diaries to the presence of other dead bodies and also to the statements of the various potential suspects. All the obtained information are collected in the Helix database and supported by a picture so that the player has everything he needs to solve the mystery close at hand. Curiously enough, considering the images we're showing you, this mission has something to do with the prophecy by Nostradamus, who we know is the protagonist of what has been described as a treasure hunt that the player will have to follow thanks to various clues left on the city monuments to obtain a final reward. The interesting thing is that it seems that the two types of mission, the murder mysteries and the Nostradamus treasure hunt, are in some way connected, at least during their initial phases. After all, even in the game menu, these two types of missions seem to be combined. 
say, in the writings of prophets. In any case, when the player decides who is the culprit, he or she will have to accuse him and as you can see in the video, will have to hold the accusation button for some seconds, maybe also to allow the player to change his or her mind at the last second. As previously announced, it will also be possible to go back to the prison and see the culprit imprisoned. And that's all for today's video. What do you think about these bits of news and footage? Let us know by leaving a comment below and we'll see you guys in the next video.